Just arrived to my hotel after a 12 hour flight. I'm exhausted. I definitely need a shower, but check out the room. Gotta keep up with hopscotch tradition. I just showered up. I'm gonna meet my group in about half an hour. And I just noticed something that the safe in the room is not very safe. It locks, but it's not screwed into the wall and it needs to be screwed into the wall. When I see things like that, I need them to be fixed. So I've called housekeeping, they're gonna come up, they're gonna screw it into the wall, they're gonna make sure that my room is secure. Don't just bypass these things and not worry about them. Also, don't be overly paranoid. Just make sure that everything is working. I'm in Tel Aviv right now at the old railway station connecting the coastline to Jerusalem. Now before that there was a railway here, it used to be a two day trek by horse or donkey. Now the old railway station has turned into a popular tourist spot where there's restaurants, there's shops, and people are even getting wedding pictures done behind me. So very popular place, beautiful buildings, beautiful architecture. And there's even a cactus here or there. Now ever since there was a train that was in the city, people needed to know what time it was. Before that, they didn't care what time it was. Time didn't even matter. Now the train had a schedule. The people needed to know what time it was, so they installed the very first clock tower. When this city was first built, the houses were built really close to each other and the houses kind of created a wall around the city. They were considered a very advanced city because they had running water. When these roads were originally designed, they weren't designed for cars. Cars didn't even exist at the beginning of the 19th century and now there's tons of cars on these roads. I'm at an ancient Roman temple in Israel. Israel was conquered by many nations over many centuries. A lot of people wanted this land. The Romans were known for building three main things in their cities. First was a theater, second was a bath, third was a temple. This is their theater, where they would listen to music, they'd put on performances, and they'd give all the speeches for the town. Welcome! For today's performance, we will have cartwheels. These are ancient Roman toilets. Now there is no privacy. You put one cheek on each side and you sit, do your business, and have a chat with your neighbor. Now on the top of Masada, overlooking the Dead Sea, where King Herod decided to build his palace. You can actually see the Dead Sea way below me, and it is actually the lowest place on earth. So it's 400 meters below sea level, which means where I'm standing right now is at sea level, which made it easy for them to irrigate the land and bring water in here. 
This is a little model of what his palace looked like. One of his palaces he built on the mountain. And this was said to be the most beautiful with three terraces. Even though these people lived in the desert, it was still important for them to have a hot bath. That way they could go in, they could sweat, it would open their pores, it would clean their bodies, and it's actually a way to cool down. So this is the furnace for the hot bathroom. And their floors were actually open. They had columns underneath supporting their floors, and the hot air would go under their floors and actually heat the floors. They actually had heated floors. This is actually a replica model of how the water system works. So when they get water, they've made all these little streams to collect the water and move it around the palace. When your host going down the hill and you don't want to fall, lean back. Riding our horses for sunset. It's beautiful. This guy, he's doing a very good job. Black Beauty right here. The fun never stops on Hopscotch the Globe. Be sure to subscribe for more adventures. And tune in for Israel Guides Part 2.